Kernersville has exploded with new businesses, restaurants, and housing developments. And to keep up with all of that growth, the town is adding a brand new recreation center. Fox 8's Sarah Winkleman joins us live near the construction site at the corner of Union Cross Road and Shields Road. Sarah, how's that project coming along? Well, Natalie, get this. They are ahead of schedule. Right now, the plan is for construction to be wrapped up in the building to be handed over to the town in August, and then they'll have their grand opening inside in December. Now, the bad news, unfortunately, this intersection right over here does need some much needed updates to keep up with this traffic, and those are not going to be done in the same time frame. A busy intersection that has needed improvements for years. Ever since they improved the south side of Union Cross towards Glen High School, it just clogs up traffic going this way. The 56,000 square foot facility on the corner got the ball rolling. The Board of Aldermen will vote to send the request to the North Carolina DOT on Wednesday. If approved, the project would add dedicated turn lanes on Shields Road and Union Cross Road to keep through traffic moving. Kernsville's increased in population dramatically over the past 10, 15 years. More people on the road and a busy schedule at the new rec center. Wrestling, basketball, volleyball, uh, pickleball tournaments, those type of things. The weekends are 80% booked through all of 2025, and that does not count everything happening during the week. Inside you have three NBA-sized courts, and an elevated walking track, a multi-purpose room, a class, large classroom, a dance fitness room, concessions, and an office space. Phase two, the final phase of the project, is still in discussion, but the countdown is on for the first phase to open. I've been here since 2002, and the rec center has been a to-do list since the moment I walked through the door. To be honest with you, I never thought I'd see it. <laughs> so to see it and to get the investment behind it and the community's excited about it, it's, it's a long time coming. But there might be some growing pains just because the plan to open up the new facility is going to be much earlier than we'll see any improvements out here to this intersection. There's no timeline yet on when construction could begin at this intersection to add some of those turn lanes, but we hope to have a much better idea tomorrow if the board does approve those plans. Live in Kernersville, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.